Hey, you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this problem. We're going to subtract these two mixed numbers. And we'll also estimate them as well. So uh, just be aware that was part of the problem. We'll estimate, and then we'll actually evaluate this problem. So with the estimate, we're just going to look at these two numbers. First, this negative 6 and 1 twelfth. We would round that to about negative 6 because 1 twelfth is less than 1 half. So that means we're just going to round this number down to a negative 6. And then we'll subtract. Looking at this 1 and 3 fourths, that's closer to 2 than 1 because 3 fourths is more than 1 half. So I got negative 6 minus 2, which would give me a negative 8. The next thing we need to do is find the evaluation of this. So I'm going to take both of these and I will change them to improper fractions. So I got negative 6 and a 12th, so our fraction is automatically going to be negative. Then I take 6 times 12, which is 72, and plus the 1. That will give me a 73 in my numerator. And the denominator stays the same. It's going to remain a 12. Now this is all minus 1 and 3 fourths, so I'm going to have an improper fraction here. And I have 1 times 4, which is 4, plus the 3, that would give me a 7. And this is over 4, because that's our denominator there anyways. So I have these two improper fractions, but I can't subtract them until I have common denominators. So I can find the least common denominator, or just any common denominator will work. But I see that 4 goes into 12 three times, so I'll multiply it by 3. But I have to multiply the numerator by 3 as well, so that I maintain equality of the fraction. So now I have negative 73 over 12 minus 21 over 12. And I can make this all one big fraction with a denominator that is 12. So this means that my first number here is a negative 73. And then we were subtracting that 21 there. So I'm going to put that 21 here. Then I have negative 73 minus 21, which is going to give me a bigger negative number. And that would be negative 94. This is all over 12. And this can be simplified. We can see at least that these two are divisible by 2 because they're both even. So let's try that out and see where it gets us. That's a negative 47 over 6. And 47 and 6 don't have any common factors. So uh, we can leave it like this, but I, I think in the homework they want you to change this into an improper or a uh, mixed number. It's still going to be negative, so let's focus on just the numbers. I've got 47 divided by 6. 6 will go into 47 7 times. 7 times 6 is 42. So when I subtract, I have 5 remaining. So I have 7 and the 5 remaining over 6. So depending on who your professor is or your teacher, one of these two answers will work. And they are equivalent, so maybe they'll even accept both.